uh, productive practice today. Uh, you know, it's always a day where you have carryover from uh, the first day of introducing an opponent to a day like today where the plethora of the third down situations uh, show up. And so it becomes uh, a little more. You know, the dynamics of practice is one that's filled with first, second, and third down situation blitz and that comes from all different directions. So uh, the good thing is that um, we were able to recognize some of the things uh, that hurt us early in the practice. At the back end of practice, we fixed those things. And so it's not ever a Wednesday pra practice where it's perfect. It's a lot of learning, but it, our, our guys are exposed to it. And I think that we got better at the back end of today's practice. Coach, last year's uh, team kind of hung its hat on uh, on defense. You had, yeah. you know, five or six uh, teams under 300 yards. Uh, defense was kind of the calling card last year. Do, yeah. do you think this year's? I mean, I know you, you just won one game now, but yeah. you played well defensively yeah. against Texas State. Have you sort well, of regained that swagger? Do you think? Well, um, well I think from the defense, from a defensive side of um, or perspective. Uh, you you want to play that style of defense. You want to create turnovers. You want to be stingy uh, when it comes to rushing yards and holding an opponent for 20 somewhat yards and things of that nature. But offensively, you never want to defer and say, I'll let the defense win. The offense certainly want to score points and put up, uh, do the things necessary to attain a victory. And so um, I guess for me as the head coach, I'd like to see our offense continue to come along with the defense continuing to um, accelerate the way that we've had in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but if you would ask the defensive staff and players or offensive staff and players respectively, they want to uh, both improve greatly immensely on what we've done already, certainly from an offensive standpoint and scoring touchdowns and big playability. But both sides of the ball, you, you'd like, you think there's Yeah, you, you yeah I guess what I'm saying, I don't want to consent and, and wave the white flag and say, let's be a defensive team, we don't have to score. Right. Certainly we're not saying that, we want to score points offensively. But the defense you think can get better. I do, I do. I think they played well and there's still room for growth. How much is that though, because of what they did last year, you always see you can be a better defense, but maybe statistically in some areas, it's not showing and people kind of get caught up into that part of it. Yeah. Um, you know, there, we talked about this earlier. A lot of times, um, you know, you're in position to make the plays. You have to make the plays. And the absence of a Marcus Davenport is, is certainly something to be recognized uh, because he was so disruptive with a veteran secondary where you, you lose both corners and both safeties. Uh, and so those guys have to, to grow up and they have to go through trials and tribulations before uh, or fall, if you will, before they're able to stand up and have the success that uh, we got a, a, a teeny bit of it on, on, on Saturday, but a long season. We still got eight more, nine more games to go, so a lot of room for growth for our team. Was, was I, think, uh, I think Josiah is playing right now. I mean, outstanding. Uh, I think he's playing outstanding. I think he's all over the field uh, from an interior standpoint on the perimeter as well as special teams. He's playing very well. Is this as good as he's been? It is. He's playing as well as he's played since he's been here. And I like Kevin as well. He's been, he's been yeah. grown a lot since he's passed. Yeah, him. you know what? He uh, He's commanding double teams. He's being disruptive. He's making the play uh, without always making the tackle by penetration, changing line of scrimmage, and just doing things where it turned back to a guy to make a tackle, but being very disruptive, doing the things that we expected from him. What about the group of, uh, of uh, first-time uh, starters and uh, the, the younger players that had to be thrown into the fire, so to speak, a few weeks ago, yeah. Coach? You, we talked a lot about that a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. How have they developed? They've responded. Yeah. They've developed. They're getting better. Uh, they still make mistakes. Uh, they're not ready-made. Uh, they're not done just yet. They're still working. Uh, but they're getting better uh, with each and every week and every practice that we have. You see flashes like from Tyke and Lorenzo yeah, Dantzler yeah. and some of those guys. Yeah, uh, they'll 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 be fine in due time. Uh, they just need to keep improving uh, week after week. You think uh, Jordan Wright can play this week? Um, he practiced today. Uh, I'll have to get with this coach and with the trainers to see how he feels post practice after going through an entire uh, practice, which he did today. I certainly feel uh, optimistic about it, but probably better next week. Uh, but I don't know. Um, he was in there, and we'll, we'll see. What about King and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Solomon Wise? Uh, King Doubtful, Solomon Likely. Thank you, guys. Thank you.